Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And it's Pete J. Another deja vu situation, Peter. I feel like we've been to Florida so many times. <laughs> yeah, and, and just tonight, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> These technical difficulties, I tell you. You can't, you can't get good help anymore, can you? No, you can't. You <laughs> Uh, the cruise I don't know ship. what they're teaching these kids in college anymore. <laughs> cruise ships on the left, city on the on the back and foreground, and you got the beaches on the right. Uh, it's love always the great beaches. To, we love the beaches. Always <laughs> great to be in Florida. There's your house. I can see my house from here. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's good to be back in town. We're going to be facing the uh, the Florida water bowl. It's coming up here pretty soon. Uh, we'll tell you about that in just a moment. We're going to go right in. <clears throat> excuse me, right into the highlights because there's a ton of them in the Swagger Center against the Overdogs, Pete. It was a great game. B will start off first as they've been doing whenever they win. Top of the top of the second, Beavis Ortiz comes up and just hits this one. It's a, a grounder, gets an RBI in, puts the Beavis out ahead by one. But the Overdogs don't wait to turn things back around again. The bottom of the second, Yvette Victorino <clears throat> hits this one out in right field. Hamlock Ball looks like he's going to grab it, but he misses it. <clears throat> they bring a one run in, and that's going to tie it up really quickly. Overdogs show that they're not just going to sit down. They want to win this game. The very next batter, Casper Stern, comes up. And he's going to get an RBI off Ortiz here. We've got runners at first and second. Ortiz looks for his right pitch from, from Monstor. Whips it down low. Pounds it past Slamis. And that's going to put the Overdogs out in front. But the B-Wolves ain't having a Pete. They don't wait very long at all. Top of the third. The very next side, Sturdy Woodman's going to come up. With two outs and two strikes. He cranks this one into center field. It's an RBI that's going to bring up the tie. And they follow up quickly, top of the fifth then. Steve Monstour, pow, hitting power as he's been all season long thus far. Puts him out ahead, Pete. Steve Monstour, tell me about it. Yeah, he's hitting well this year. Um, three home runs in the last two games. One uh, one of those being a Grand Slam home run. So he's really been a, uh, a, uh, a solid performer for the offense. And Beavis Ortiz not only pitching, but he's hitting offense here in the top of the six. He goes outfield left center, gets an RBI double, puts him out ahead. They never look back. Still top of the six then. Buster Biggs is coming up behind him. And Buster Biggs is going to get a center field RBI, making the game 5-2, to two, punching it past the infield there. Also, still top of the six. Sturdy Woodman is going to keep the party going. And he's going to hit this one in a center field. It's a... Two RBI one, bringing it from six to two and seven to two, and they just keep keep it on the gas. Top of the eighth, <clears throat> Sturdy Woodman comes back in again, cranks this one past Donaldson at first base in the into the corner. It's going to make the game eight to two, and it's the back-to-back -back answer that the uh, the Beagles had against the the Overdogs earlier in the game. This one, this time, is the very next pitch. Freddie Knox, they're going to come to bat here again, facing Dax Connor. 23rd pitch, pow, knocks this one. Texas Leaguer over to the shortstop in the left field, making it 9-2. to And it's not even done then. Finally, things capping off with Hammerlong ball on top of the ninth. Center field RBI, another Texas Leaguer in there, making the final score 10-2. to Things finally closing out in the bottom of the ninth with uh, Oscar Donaldson, first baseman up here, facing... Case Brajas, it's a line drive straight to Ham Slamis, caught for the third out, and the B-Wolves win, Pete. Uh, how many in a row do yeah. we won now? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's, uh, oof, I don't know. Let me check the schedule. Uh, but he's another one who had a, a huge game. Uh, Ham Slamis had a, a huge game against the Overdogs. Um, let's see, it's one, two, three in a row. So we've won three in a row. How about that? <laughs> Since that demoralizing loss to the Colorado Warblers, the uh, B Wolves have really put uh, put it behind them, and they have been playing some really good ball again, offensively and defensively pitching. I think uh, the Overdogs again, both um, uh, the wide loads and then the Overdogs have been have been kept in the park. Uh, two pitchers, uh, while well, the pitchers did not give up long balls in either of those games, so uh, always good to see that. Uh, again, we talked. Uh, I touched about the re relief pitchers who are pitching really well. It was good to see Case Barajas get his first save this early in the season. Hopefully, that means good things. He brought, he was able to take his uh, six six point something ERA and cut it in half to three. So, I, I, you know, this team keeps playing the way they are. They're going to be tough to beat. And, and when you got uh, Steve Monstour hitting the ball the way he is, you know, offense isn't a problem. Yeah, yeah. Steve's been nuts. 
Yeah. <clears throat> uh, looking at these water bullets, take a quick list, look at their, their roster. There's some new new players on the team. They're already a good team years back when they're making the playoffs. Now they're trying to make it deep in the playoffs. Uh, the first notable change, the A-minus rate, Invert Larson. Invert Larson is a 27-year-old, uh, new to the league. Uh, right field, outfielder, A-minus, stealer. Known mostly for speed at 92, but he's got really good connectivity and power. Uh, he's got six games so far this season. He's hitting 333 with seven RBIs. Yeah, yeah, two doubles and a, and a walk. Two home runs. Uh, three stolen bases. Yeah, <laughs> so, wow. Yeah, they're getting their money's worth from Invert. He's got someone to keep an eye on. Uh, from there, it's all the way down to uh, Vern Hangnail uh, on the bench. Hangnail comes over from the Arctics. Uh, third base backup, also plays shortstop. B minus ranked though. I mean, he's, he's a bench player. B minus, um, no mostly for speed in his arms. Got good at connectivity. 41 years old though, 4.3 million dollars a year. He's played one game. He's got no average yet. So they're waiting to see some production from him. Yeah, they are. Two strikeouts in that one of <laughs> Oh wow. Game. As far as pitching goes, that's where they've really been active. Uh, it starts with the second string uh, starter, Air Lovestone. Air Lovestone comes here from the Heaters, C plus rank starter, no mostly for accuracy, 28 euros old, 3.3. She's got a uh, 184 ERA right now. Right behind her, they picked up Holder Close. Holder Close came here from the wide load, starter slash reliever. Played one game as a 2.57 ERA um, with a 1 0. Oh, no, I'm sorry, he's got one win. Yeah, he's played one game and he won it, yeah. Known mostly for his accuracy, good junk as well, B-ranked. Um, yeah, went deep in the game too, went to pitch seven innings in that game. Wow, wow, that is impressive. Brad Bradley Bowler comes here from the Buzzards, starter slash, another starter slash reliever. He's got one game, he's 1-0, B-minus rank, no mostly for his junk, uh, 30 year old, 4.5 million. So they got they got some pitchers that can really do it, and then closing things down, they pick up the closer, K-Frequent, star K-Frequent who played for the Freebooters almost her whole career. Did a stint out in Hawaii last year, then came back to Florida here to play for the for the Water Bullets. <clears throat> she's 0-1 with a save, but, you know, she's and she has a 16.2 ERA, so she must have had a bad game. But look at that velocity junk and accuracy. Well, she was 0-3. She split time, like I say. She played that <coughs> with the Freebooters in a nemesis last season. She ended the season with an 0-3 record and a 7.97 ERA. So she's, you know... Her last full season with the Freebooters, she was four and three, but she had an eight point two five. So yeah, overall a seven point five eight lifetime ERA. She's she's slipping a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm I'm afraid though she's going to turn it around. <laughs> she's also it looks like yeah she's the highest paid player on the team too. Seventeen point eight. Wow. Yeah. That's some real bucks. All right, uh, that's going to bring us to today's game. Uh, well, I know. I'm sorry. We got 12 other games to tell you about, Pete. So why don't you start us off the Saw Teeth? We're in St. Louis at the Hot Corners. Go. All right. So the Saw Teeth travel on a ticket on the Hot Corners, and the Hot Corners are going to play bad host, but the Saw Teeth come roaring back and win at 8-6. Blowfish down at the Platypi, and it was a Blowfish 4 nothing. Outlaws travel a ticket on the Freebooters. It's Outlaws 5, Freebooters 1. Frontrunners were at Colorado with the Buzzards. It was all frontrunners to start. Colorado came back and Whoa. won at 8-7. 14. The Herbosaurus taking on the wide loads. Wide loads out to an early lead, and they hold on to win 5-1. to one. Arctic's down the Grapplers. Grapplers took them 2-zip. The Moose taking on the Freedom, and the Moose jump out to an early lead. The Freedom, Freedom come back and win it 6-5-10. and 10. Uh, Sirloin's at the Warblers, and it's close at first, but then the Warblers took off 18-3. to three. Wow. Holy cow. The Nemesis travel to take on the Jacks. <laughs> Jacks will win that one 3 to nothing. Wild Pigs down in Philly at the front runners, and the Pigs took it 7-6. The Saw Teeth taking on the Burners, and it's a back and forth battle, but it looks like it's going to wind up being the Burners in the end, 8 6. Moonstars at the Overdogs, and the Moonstars beat them 3 2. So when you look at that breakdown, Tommy, you got to look at it from this standpoint the standpoint of somebody who's looking at it who would say the Pioneer <laughs> Cup. <laughs> Pioneer Conference Pathfinder Division, the Freedom sit alone at the top with a record of 5 and 2. Just behind them, the Crocodons with a record of four and two are a half game out of first place, and the Burners at four and three are a full game back. Liza Peck's got to be liking that down there. The Uncharted Division, you got the San Diego Platypi out in front, four and two. They won their first four games, lost the next two straight. Uh, but they still have a game lead ahead of the Colorado Buzzards and the Oakland Outlaws, who are both playing 500 ball at three apiece. 
down in the journey division, the grapplers and uh, the Arctics and the well, everybody. The grapplers, <laughs> Arctic Sandcast, and Freebooters all have 500 records, three and three. Everybody's in first place. The Sandcats with a negative three run differential will find themselves in second, uh, kind of. And the Freebooters <laughs> with a run differential of negative five find themselves kind of last on the rung there. Wow, that is that's surprising. In our conference, the Seafair Division, the Explore Conference Seafair Division, the Houston Jacks are six and one. Uh, best record in the game right now. They've got a full game and a half lead against California Gold Coats, who are four and two. Uh, in our very own trade division, sitting atop the trade right now, the B Wolves and the Water Bullets are sitting atop with a records of four and two. Just behind them, the Sirloins with a record of four and three. They're half game back, and then the Herbivores. Well, that's uh, they're a half game back. That we just got helped out by the uh, Colorado Warblers, who beat up on the Sirloins, and then the Herbivores, who we just played not that long ago. When we played them, they were three and zero. Oh. They're yeah. now three and three. Yeah, uh, I think I think the Beatles really beat up Talk on about their streaky. pitchers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we I think we really kind of took their pitchers to the to the woodshed, and yeah. uh, I think they're struggling now. So uh, I'll take credit for that. But the Beatles sit atop the trade division with a record of four and two and a plus ten run differential. They sit atop the trade. In the curiosity division, it's the San Jose Sawtooth who are five and two. <laughs> And they got a game and a half lead against the Colorado Warblers, who are playing 500 ball at three apiece. That's going to bring us to today's game. It's the tied. It's the battle of first place teams. First uh, division rivalry matchup between these two teams. First of three. It's the four and two Beatles against the four and two Water Bullets. The Water Bullets, known as extreme bullpen beasts, so they're going to they're going to have pitching deep. They're also extremely fast. Uh, other than that, they got good power and defense. So maybe we can beat them in connectivity. We're going to be putting our workhouse horse on the mound. The right-hander, Fran Japani. She's known mostly for her velocity with good junk and fair accuracy. She has no record yet on the season, but she's got a 1.12 ERA and a 0.88 whip. So there's going to be a lot of Japani jerseys in the stands. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, I'll tell you something. To put, I'll, I feel bad for the starting pitchers, the B-Wolf starting pitchers, because they're pitching their hearts out. And yet they're just not getting any decisions. <laughs> they just can't. <laughs> they can't get the decision in the end. Backing up Fran Japani, of course, uh, Hanley Dexteris, who's been playing third base for us for the last two games. Um, he's got a little bit better than average, about average power. He's got good ability to connect at home plate, good speed on the base pass. He's in 385 with three home runs. Hammer long ball out in right field. Again, I don't, I don't know why he's. <laughs> <laughs> notable players but he's got uh, he's got good power better than average ability to connect less than average speed on the base pass he's in 238 with one home run and then the locked in but not a hundred percent physically uh fit steve monster the catcher he's got the better than average power better than average ability to connect and better than average speed he's in 444 with three home runs it'll be interesting to see if steve gets the start today i mean i would think he was because he's, he's uh, locked in but he's it looks like he's in need of a rest so yeah. um, it can go either way. The Water Bullets are going to be putting their left-hander on the mound. Holder Close, the new one we, we just saw. They said we picked him up from... Where did they pick him up from? I can't recall. We just looked at it. Anyway. Uh, I was going to say, we just <laughs> talked about it. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, Holder... That's one of those... Uh... It was one of those elder moments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Both of us, neither can. <laughs> Holder's known for his accuracy. He's got good junk and uh, not not great velocity. He's 1 0 on the season, though. He's got a 2 5 7 ERA and a 0 2 9 whip. So, one of these, uh, one of the three new pitchers that the Water Bolts are looking to really clamp down on their rivals with. Yeah, and behind him, the notable players is, uh, we just talked about him, and I can't remember what his first name is. Intact or? Invert. Invert. Invert Larson is on fire. The right fielder has uh, better than average power, good ability to connect at home plate, and very good speed. He's hitting 333 with two home runs. Harmonious Jackson out there in center field with uh, good power and about average ability to connect, a little bit better than average speed, hitting 200 with a home run. And, and uh, D Miners out there in left field with uh, better than average power, better than average ability to connect, and good speed on the base pass. He's hitting point, .062 and no home runs which wow. is of course why would you would note that you would want <laughs> yeah. to note that. Notable. That's, that is notable yeah for the wrong <laughs> reasons 
All right, well, uh, we're getting the lineup from the assistant coach. It's going to look a yes, little sir. something like this as we snap the screenshot. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, Hanley Dexterous is going to start things off playing second base today. He'll be playing second base and batting first. Uh, right behind him batting second, Sturdy Woodman, who will play first base, filling in for, because, yeah, Freddie Knox is a little a little tense, filling in for um, for uh, Hanley at shortstop is Ham Slamis. Uh, is this Ham's first start or is it second? I think it's the second. No, start. I think it's the second. Yeah, actually, it's his <laughs> third because uh, Dexter has played third base in the last two games, I think. Right? Mm. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Uh, batting fourth cleanup, uh, Hammer Long Ballo, and he'll he'll play right field and left field. Buster Biggs batting fifth, batting sixth. Magic Moore, um, right? Yeah, I mean, we don't want to get. Do we want to? We don't want to play any of these new players yet because nobody's tense. Um, Bertha Banks is going to bat seventh, play third base. Uh, Fiona Clark's going to start today. They are going to give Steve Monstura the, uh, the rest. You, you good with that? Okay. Yeah, I'm good with that. Again, he could always come in late innings uh, in a pinch hit situation if we need him. That's true. Crank one out for us. Yeah. <laughs> so she's got that gun behind the plate that we could hold off, keep them from stealing. And Yeah, Banks. that'll be good with uh, invert the way he's going. Yeah, and Fran Japani is going to pitch and bat ninth. She throws the forefinger, the two finger, the curveball, the slider, and the changeup. Let's go, my friend. Let's hope she's not too much of a belly itcher. <laughs> We're in El Viejo. It's a bright, sunny day. I love it. Mm, mm, yes. Mm. Used to listen to this mm, mm, mm. <laughs> the samba every time we came out here. <laughs> Water Bullets lineup's gonna look like this. In, uh, Invert Larson leading off. D Miners uh, playing left field. Harmonious Jackson in the center field. Kent at first base. Stone playing at second base. Ice Majors at third base. Kasha Emin at shortstop. Adonimus catching. And then uh, Holder close pitching. So as we get ready to go get this going here, Hanley Dexter, Sturdy Woodman, and Ham Slamis will get ready to square off against Holder close in the top of the first. Look at the. Cruise ship pulled in there. People getting a free view of the game. Hanley Dexterous <laughs> neutral and fit, hitting 385, three home runs, five RBIs. All right, and Holder Close whips the first one in. This game's underway. It's their first strike. 0 oh, 1, top part of the strike zone. Second pitch is outside. He reaches out. That's caught. A line drive to Holder or to Stone at second base. Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman, neutral and fit, 423 with a home run, 70 RBIs. Bird oh. pitches in it for called strike, strike one. One's up, ball one. One ball, one strike now to Sturdy Woodman, the B-Wolf first baseman. He fouls that one straight back, and now he's behind on the count. One and two. That one's ripped, but foul along the first baseline. One ball, two strikes. That's inside, two and two. Count is evened up now. Holder close, throwing his eighth pitch. That's inside, ball three, high and inside. Don't contradict me, Al. There's a <laughs> shot, that'll get up into center field. Clean single for Sturdy Woodman. So one on, one out in the top of the first. In steps, Ham Slamis. Yeah, that didn't start well for uh, Sturdy, but he turned things around. Ham Slamis, 455 on the season. Great season so far for Hammy. Hard liner in the left into right center field. That's back to the wall. That's going to be multiple bases. And he's going to slide into second. The runner's going to hold the third. Great, great offense so far, Pete. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was a good shot by Ham Slamis. Hammer Longballo neutral and fit in 238 with a home run, two RBIs. Longballo off to a bit of a slow start this season. First pitch to Longballo's inside ball one. Big pickup last season. That one's high into the air, and it's going to be caught by the left fielder. And there goes tagging up. Sturdy Woodman's going to cross the plate for the first score of the game. And the B-Wolves are up one to nothing. In steps Buster Biggs, the left fielder's neutral and fit. All right, Buster. Way to go, B-Wolves getting a score here early. Buster Biggs hitting 423 on the season. Another great season for another B-Wolf offense. First one misses ball, 1-0 no count. That one's fouled off Souvenir, third base line. A lot of B-Wolves fans, as usual, fly out to make the game here in Florida. Down way out in the outside corner. Now we're at 2-1 and one. over at close goes to 16th that also misses ball 3-1 hitters pitch now Buster Biggs here at the top of the first he bunts it bunts it fair makes the run out advances the runner to third but uh, he got the third out I did it again <laughs> <laughs> let's go for the power swing and I hit the bun button 
So we're going into the bottom of the first B-Wolves 1. Uh, Invert Larson, D minors, and Harmonious Jackson gonna get a first look at Fran Japani. The power swing is X, right? Invert Larson is on yes. fire and fit hitting 333 with two home runs and seven RBIs. I keep hitting the B button. Just got the B for bunt. <laughs> yes, yes. There's a smash on the ground to hot Henley Dexterity. He's gonna pick it up, make the throw to Sturdy Woodman for the first down. One down and in steps D minors. Miners playing left field for the Water Bullets. He's hitting .062, no home runs, and one RBI. But, but from, from what I hear, he's very notable. Uh, yeah. One of the most notable guys in the league. <laughs> he fouled that one straight back, strike one. No See? balls, one strike with one out. That one's inside, ball one. One ball, one strike for Anja Pani. Throwing her fourth pitch. Ripped foul along the third baseline, and now Miners finds himself behind in the count, one and two. Chapani delivers. High ball two. That'll even the count. Two balls and two strikes. That's huh. ripped, but foul. Two and two. There's a roller. Ham Slamis is going to get up on it, pick it up barehanded, throw it over to Sturdy Woodman for the second out. Two up, two down. In steps Harmonious Jackson, the water bullet center fielder. There it is, 200. He's hitting 200 on the season with a home run, three RBIs. Two out, nobody on. Bottom of the first. First pitch to Hieronymus Jackson, a knee-high fastball for uh -huh. called strike, strike one. That's in there for called second strike, and now Jackson finds himself in the hole. 0-2. Oh, low. Oh. Oh, low ball one. Jackson laid off. 1-2. and two. There's a roller, and Bertha Banks going to pick it up. Make the throw to Sturdy Woodman. Three outs. Three up, three down. We're heading into the top of the second. It's B Wolves one, Water Bullets nothing. Magic Moore, Bertha Banks, Fiona Clark are going to get a first look at Holder Close, who threw 17 pitches and gave up two hits in the first inning. His ERA is up to 3.38. Magic Moore, the center fielder's neutral fit. He's got good connection versus left handed pitching. He's hitting 200 with a home run, two RBIs this season. Oh. Ooh, that catches the high inside corner for called strike, strike one. Ooh, oh, that oh. catches the high corner. <laughs> Come on. High oh. outside corner for called strike. And very quickly, he's in the hole. Oh, and two. Oh. That's for, for called third strike. Wow. And Magic Moore watches three strikes go by. <laughs> one out and sin comes Bertha Banks. Uh, it's, uh, Ump's got a, a liberal strike zone here. 21st pitch by Holder Stroke. He's going oh, right after him. All the ball. strikes, man. He throws nothing but swing at him. There you go. There's a rolling bunt towards first base. Kent's going to barehand it, rock it over to first herself. Two up, two down, real quick. Yes, sir. Here comes Fiona Clark, the catcher. She's neutral and fit, hitting 167 on the season. Two outs and nobody on in the top of the second. First pitch to Clark is in there for cold. Strike, strike one. That one's popped up into the air, into shallow left center, and the shortstop, Kasha Emmon, is there to make the catch for the third out. So one, two, three, we're heading into the bottom of the second. It's still B-Wolves one, water bullets nothing. Amelia Kent, Christian Stone, and Iceman Majors are going to get a first look at Japani who threw 11 pitches for Yaris down to a one. Amelia Kent looking a little bit tense. Uh, got power against uh, left-handers. She's facing right-handers, so it doesn't matter. She likes the out pitches on the outside corner. She is the uh, first base woman Oof. for the water bullets. First one misses high by Japani, one to the count. She's got a 05, Kent's got a 056 average on the season. Not very good. But she could turn it around. That one's in there for strike one apiece. Now the safety's off for Amelia Kent. Checks it the last one and just misses outside. Now we're at two and one. Number 40, Japani's gonna get ready to throw her 15th pitch right now. Gets her signal from Clark. It's the ladies on the mound and behind the plate. Fouls that one back off the wall. We are even at two apiece now. Here on the bottom of the second, one nothing. B Wolves. Breaking pitch reaches out, fouls at the first baseline. Souvenir, Waterwood oh, no. fan. Right down the middle, there's a grounder. Woodman's going to pick that up. He's going to walk over and toss it to the Japani who runs over to touch the bag to the Japani. <laughs> Gets the out. There's a lot of work for that out. Christian Stone, A minus ranked second baseman, 273 on the season. Right hand batter's box, chewing gum, number 27, the Water Bullets. First pitch inside, into the little looper into the glove of Sturdy Woodman at first base. That evens things off a little bit. Beagle's one away from putting him away. Iceman Majors, 
A minus ranked third baseman. A little tense this season thus far. Only a 0 0.95 average. But he does have one home run with three RBIs. So when he does hit, he makes it count. So in the hands, check swing, ball one. To Iceman Majors. Left hand batter's box leaning back in his stance. 20th pitch by Japani. Breaking pitch slider makes it back in there for a strike. We're not at up now, one apiece. Files that one hard into his own dugout. Now we're at one and two with two outs. One more to go. Swing it a strike three. High and inside. Good pitch by Japani. Breaks him in. Yes, sir. So we're heading into the top of the third. Still B Wolves one. One run on two hits. Water bullets, no runs, no hits. Fran Japani's first at bat. Hanley Dexter's 0 for 1. It's 30 Woodman, 1 for 1. Close. And 24 pitches with a strikeout. Giving up two hits. Fran Japani's locked in and pit hitting 667 with an RBI. All right. Isaac Major starts off the inning with his 25th pitch at the top of the third. It's in it for strike. Oh, on the count. Oops. Swing wrist strike 202. Holder close looking great on the mound. There's a liner jumping oh. grab by Kosh Emmett at shortstop. Great defensive play by the water bullet. Yes, sir. Hanley the stairs stepping in neutral. If it 0 for 1 today, hitting 370. Three home runs, five RBIs, one out, nobody on for Dexterous. That one's popped up into left field. Almost sounded like he had a double hit on that. <laughs> Caught by the left fielder for the second out. Two up, two down, in steps Sturdy Woodman. I think it was two outs on two pitches, right? <laughs> Fans jumping up and down, Sturdy Woodman. Watch the first one, low and away, ball one. One and over the count, top of the third. That one's in for a strike. Now safety's off, even at one apiece. This is that one low, two and one. Good patience by Sturdy Woodman. 32nd pitch right in there, but a late swing. Two, two, two. Hard liner like right into the glove of Christian Stone at second base, three outs. I don't like the power swing. <laughs> so we're heading into the bottom of the third. It's still one to nothing. B Wolves, Kasha Emmons first at bat, Preston Adonimus is first at bat, Holder close first at bat. Fran Japani at 22 pitches with one strikeout. Her ERA is down to a .9 time. Mm -hmm. Kasha Emmons is tense and fit, but she's hitting 348 on the season with a one RBI. I like Kasha when we played with her. I do too. Yeah, she's a good, good player all around. Good defense. Good, a uh, good offensive player. That one's low. Uh, count is now even to Kasha Hammond. One ball, one strike. Kasha Hammond playing shortstop for the Water Bullets. Allen's inside ball two. Two balls and a strike now. To Kasha Hammond, she's tense but fit. She rips that one hard foul into the first row. Oh, kid. <laughs> Along the third right? baseline. Yeah, there. Two and two now. Swing and a miss, strike three, and down goes Gasha Emmon. That's uh, Japani's second K of the day, and in steps Preston Adonimus, the catcher. He's neutral and fit. He's got connection versus right-handed pitching, hitting 444 on the season with an RBI. That's in it for called strike, strike one, and there's a lot of beef on this, boy. So you got to be careful there. Ah, he's going to drill that one foul into the stands along the first baseline. The outfield there. So no balls, two strikes. Now swing and a miss, and down goes Adonimus. K number three for Japani. Holder close, the pitcher steps in. He's neutral and fit. He's got a little bit of power, but he struggles to make contact, and he's not very speedy. So two outs and nobody on in the bottom of the third. First pitch to close. He chases, but is unable to catch up to it. So no balls and a strike. That one's outside. That'll even the count. One ball, one strike with two outs. That's in there for called second. And now Holder close is behind in the count one and two. Japani delivers. Oh, low ball two. <laughs> All right. Count is evened up. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And there it is. And he fouled that off into the dugout along the first base line. He'll get another pitch. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Japani delivers her 36 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three, and I think Japani struck out the side there, Tommy. Oh, oh, oh. Three up, three down. We're going to the top of the fourth. B Wolves one, Water Bullets nothing. Ham Slamis one for one with a double hammer long ball. Those first at bat. Buster Biggs 0 for one and Holder close at 33 pitches with a strikeout, giving up two hits. Ham Slamis the shortstop is neutral and fit hitting one for one with a double hitting 500 on the season. Wow. Huh. First pitch to Slamis is over the inside corner for called strike. Strike one. Allen's outside ball one. One and one now. That one's ripped foul along the first baseline. Slamis now behind in the count. One ball, two strikes. 
That one's way outside. Two and two. Oh, and it's off of the hand of the pitcher, and Slamis is going to beat it out. So an infield single <laughs> for Ham Slamis. One on with nobody out, and in steps Hammer Long Baller. Way to go, Hammy Slammy. Hammer, 238. One home run, three RBIs. I didn't see what he was on the day. Early swing, foul ball near the idiota sign. <laughs> oh, on the count. Oh, Pops that one up. That's going to be an easy catch. Right behind first base. Wave that off. It's Christian one, Stone. Hammer. How do you miss that one? The first out. One out, one on. Hammers the ham slam is standing at first base. And then steps Buster Biggs. He's 0 for 1 today. Hey, uh, Longvalo didn't have an official at bat. So I don't know if the... Uh, I don't know what happened, if it was a fielder's choice or what. That was inside, over the inside corner for a called strike. And Buster Biggs lays down the butt and moves Ham Slamis to second base. So a runner at second with two outs and insteps Magic Moore. All right, you got a runner in scoring position. If Magic could get a single here, he could bring oh, him home. Oh, that's a nice loft. Look at that thing. Look at the arc on that. <laughs> center field, Kosh Emin yeah. pulls it in shallow center. <laughs> Yeah, I got to get the radical up. <laughs> so we're going into the bottom of the fourth. It's still B-Wolves 1, Water Bullets nothing. Invert Larson 0 for 1, D-Miners 0 for 1, and Hermanus Jackson 0 for 1. Frank Dupont had 36 pitches with four strikeouts. Invert Larson on fire. Ooh. 0 for 1 on the day. Fran Dupont nursing a perfect, or not a perfect game. She's in a no-hitter at this point in the game. She's locked in against the on-fire batter. Frankie pitch, swing and a miss, strike 1. To invert Larson, the Swede. Pops that one up in the right field. Hammerlong Ballo sees it in the sunshine. He's going to reach over by the line and grab it at the grass. As the fans boo him, he shakes it off. He's an old pro. D Miners, left fielder, 0 for 1 on the day. One up, one down. 59 on the season, but he's a good contact hitter with fair power. It's just a matter of time for D Miners to turn things around. That one misses ball. That one's in there for a strike on a check swing. We now want a piece. Safety off number 19. D minors. Swings. Home run swing, but he misses. One and two. He's behind the count. Pony has a scratch. Itches. Gets the signal from Clark. Nods. Winds up. Throws it. Reaches down oh, and no. grabs. Hanley dives, but misses a little bit late. There goes the no hitter. And uh, D minors going to end up at first base. And that's going to bring in Hieronymus Jackson, who's going to try and put the water bolts ahead by one with a home run. <laughs> He's 0 for 1 on the day. He got some speed at first base, but we got a we got a cannon behind the plate. Swings and misses at that breaking pitch. 0-1. Lucky he missed. There's a hard oh, liner, and that one's in the left field. Buster Biggs is going to stop that and hold him up at second base. All of a sudden, the water bolts streaming together a couple hits. And that's going to bring in Amelia Kent, first baseman for the water bolts. She's 0 for 1 on the day. Look at tense. Frangipani still locked in, though. Going to throw her 45th pitch and the pressure up in the bottom of the fourth. Waterbolt's hoping to tie things up with just one out. That misses near the elbows. One and all the count. Breaking pitch low and away. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Even at one apiece. Bottom of the fourth. One nothing. B-Wolves. Runners at first and second. Kent reaches down. Hits at the banks. Who's going to toss. Run it to third for the first out. And uh, that's about all she can get. Decided to get that lead runner, keep him away from home plate. That's going to bring in Christian Stone. 0 for 1 on the day. He's a stealer if he gets on. He's got fair power, good contact. Eagles want to get out of this hard liner towards his own dugout. 0 1 the count. Banjapani cool and collected. Goes low and inside. 0 and 2. She's got him in a hole. Now she can play with him. Curveball up high. Swings and misses. Breaks the bat on his knee. Way to get out of it, Fran. Yes, sir, but you gave up two hits in that inning. Mm. -Wells, we're going into the fifth. B-Wolves won. Water ball, it's nothing. Bertha Banks 0 for 1. Fiona Clark 0 for 1. Fran Japani 0 for 1. Close at 43 pitches with one strikeout, giving up three hits. Bertha Banks is neutral and fit. She's 0 for 1 today, hitting 214. Nice defensive game. Yes, sir. There's a smash. That's going to get. Oh, and oh, it's knocked down. By the second baseman, Bertha Banks is going to run out. Christian Stone was able to knock it down, but he couldn't corral it. So Bertha Banks at first with no outs and insteps. Fiona Clark. Good to see Bertha Banks on base. He hasn't been having the greatest season <clears throat> after a season. Fiona Clark, good patience on first one, one of the count. Clark not really known for hitting. <clears throat> Let's two go by. 2-0. Hard liner up the middle, and that's going to be one for... 
But Clark, way to go. Way to show up and get some offense going, bring that batting average up a little bit. Buell's got runners yes, in sir. first and second, no outs. Yes, sir. And in steps Frangipani. She's locked in and fit 0 for 1 today, hitting 500 on the season. As my partner said, runners at first and second with no outs. Close throwing her 48th pitch, and she lays down the bunt. It's a fair ball and a perfect sacrifice. The runners are able to move to second and third with one out, and in steps Hanley Dexteris. All right, only one out, and the double play pretty much taken away, and the best hitter in the league at the plate. That one misses ball one, one of the count. Pressure up now here at the top of the field. Fifth. B Wolves looking to add to their lead. Safety off now with that first strike, one apiece. Fifth, fifth, fifth. Oh, right back to Holder Close, who grabs the liner for the second out. Wow, that was <laughs> <laughs> two outs. Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman, step in. He's one for two with a single. Runners at second and third. Two outs, though. Come on, Sturdy. Base hit. Oh. First pitch down the middle right there for a called strike. Strike one. Owens outside, ball one. One ball, one strike now to Woodman. Allen's fouled off straight back. And now Sturdy Woodman behind in the count, one and two. Fouls that one off as well. One ball, two strikes. That one's low. Uh -huh. That'll even the count up. Two balls, two strikes with two outs. That one's fouled off. And he'll get another pitch, two and two. Allen's lifted into left center field, and it's going to hey. drop. And it's going to get all the way oh. back to the wall. And here comes Sturdy Woodman pulling into third with a triple. A bases clearing triple. And the B-Wolves put two more on the board, making it three to nothing. Wow, I did, I did not expect that. I, I thought he was going to make that grab. I thought he should have had that catch. Center field. Ham slam us up now. <laughs> Fouls that one back. He's hitting 538. Ooh, oh, come on. There's a strike there now. He's 0-2. It's under, it falls it back off the wall, and two, three, nothing, Beagles in the top of the fifth. Hard liner to a diving Kasha Emin who stops it, but cannot corral it, and the Beagles are going to get another one, Pete. Nice one, Hanny. Yes, this has kind of been the way how it goes. Once the Beagles find their stroke, they kind of run away with it. Hammer Long Ballo stepping in. That's going to be the end of Holder Close in the fifth inning. Wow. Again, the, the Beagles just running rough shot off over everybody's pitching staffs. So Holder Close is going to take a seat, then Felix Farmhand, the starting pitcher, relief pitcher, will come in. He's got a 2.7 ERA, a .6 whip, and one strikeout. He's neutral and fit. He's got uh, poor velocity and poor junk, but he's got uh, good accuracy. He's almost fully rested. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a changeup. So with two outs and Ham Slam is standing at first base, Fuels with a 4 to nothing lead. First pitch is inside, ball one. Oh, that one curves back in and catches the outside corner for called strike. One on one. Now. That one's ripped foul straight back. One ball, two strikes to Hammerlock Ballo. That one's inside. That'll even the count two and two. Yes. That one's a smash, and Hammerlock Ballo has just gone yard. <laughs> That's out of here. Hammerlock Ballo with his second home run of the season. That's going to bring two more and make it six to nothing. That one traveled Jeez. 402 feet. That's his second home run and fifth RBI of the season. And let's hope Hammer is going to get off the snide here. So Buster Big steps in with the bases empty and two outs in the top of the fifth. Well, last year's champions looking like it. Early season here. That one's right in there for uh, the already tense Felix oh. Hardman. It was a strike. The swing and a miss strike. 0-2. Oh one more to go. Liner in the left center field. That's going to drop in for a double. Triple, Triple. maybe. He's going around second go, go, base, go, go. making his way for third. He's going to be... Pegged off. No, they get it in there. A triple for Buster Biggs. All right, so runner at third base with two outs. In steps Magic Moore. He's tense but fit. He's 0 for 2 today, hitting 182. One on with two outs. There's a roller. That's going to go down to Kasha Emmett, and Emmett's going to make a bad oh. throw. Oh. And so Magic Moore is going to reach. And another run scores. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. I I'm starting to feel bad for the... <laughs> for the bullets here. Bertha Banks now. 267 that season. Oh, she hits a home run ball a little early. First baseline souvenir. 7 nothing b ah. That's hard on the ground to Stone, who finally closes out that nightmare inning for the water bullets. Yes, sir. The b the largest scoring inning of so far of the season, putting 6 on the board, making it 7 to nothing as we go into the bottom of the 5th. Iceman Majors 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Kasha Emmett 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Preston Adonis 0 for 1 with a strikeout. 
Ice Ben Majors is tense, but fit. He's 0 for 1 today. You mind if I make some substitutions in the field? No, if you want to. I mean, we got we got some we got such a lead now. I think I could take out Magic Moore. Put in. Um... He just got an RBI and a base hit in the last. Oh, he did. <laughs> Oh, well, you could go ahead. It was yeah, Kosh Ammon's bad throw. He otherwise he would have been out. Was, but was, yeah, you can you can pull him if you want. Tense. Um, I'll, I'll put I'll put Eduardo Keller out there. Give him a try. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right, Magic Moore's going to take a seat, and they're going to bring in Eduardo Keller. Eduardo Keller, the rookie, he's got uh, no errors, no batting average, and no home runs. He's neutral and fit. He's got uh, a good speed. Um, but he's not a very good fielder, and he doesn't have a very strong arm. <laughs> so now in center field, Eduardo Keller. First pitch to Iceman Majors is in there for called strike. Strike one. Fran Giapani throwing her 52nd pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Iceman Majors in the hole. 0-2. Oh no. Allen's outside. Ball one. One ball, two strikes now to Iceman Majors, the water bullet third baseman. Rips that one foul. So he'll get another pitch. One and two. That's ripped foul as well. Majors making Japani throw some pitches here. That one's fouled off as well into the dugout along the first baseline. One ball, two strikes. Nobody on, nobody out. That one's popped up, but that's going to drift foul into the stands along the third baseline. One ball, two strikes. There's a roller. Oh, that's going to get into center field. Eduardo Keller is going to pick it up and throw it into Ham Slamma. So a leadoff single by Iceman Majors. Kasha M in the shortstop. She's tense but fit. She's 0 for 1 today, hitting 333. No home runs but one RBI. They got some speed at first base in Iceman Majors. First pitch to Kasha M is inside ball one. That's in there for a called strike. <laughs> One ball, one strike to Emmon. Throw over to first, and Majors is back. Oh, come on. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike two, and now Kasha Emmon finds herself in the hole. One ball, two strikes. Oh, just missed. It looked like Emmon was going to go for it, but she was able to lay off. Two and two. That one's fouled back. Two balls, two strikes. Japani up to 63 pitches now. Oh, That's low in the dirt. Wants Full to swing. count, three balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss, strike three, and down goes Kasha Emin for the second time today. Preston Adonimus, the catcher, he's neutral. He's got good connection versus right-handed pitching. He's 0 for 1 today, hitting 400 on the season. Japani steps off the rubber. Iceman Majors is back to first. First pitch to Donimus is in there for cold strike. Strike one. Ooh, he anticipated that one, but he let it go. It was low. Ball one. One ball, one strike with one out. There's a shot. Oh, oh how did she miss that? Wow. Uh, Bertha, uh, Bertha Banks seemed to just let it go for some reason. I, I had her thrown it to second already. You know, it was like... So it rolled into left field as a single. So now you got runners at first and second with one out. And in steps Felix Farmhand, the pitcher. He squares around a bunt. And if we're doing our due diligence, oh, he squares around a bunt again. Are we in for double play? I think we'll just go double play depth. Okay. No. Wait, right trigger. Bunt. All right. All right, so we're playing the bunt. Ooh. Oh, and everybody said perfect. <laughs> One to third. Uh, so a bunt by the pitcher, and it worked out because they tried to get the double play rather than going for the play. It's single, so one out with bases loaded. First pitch to invert Larson, the leadoff hitter, is in there for a strike. He's locked in and fit. That one's in there. High ball one. One ball, one strike with one out. That one's low ball two. Two balls and a strike now to invert Larson. That one's lifted foul into the stands along the first baseline. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Bases loaded for Frangipani. 
That's going to be foul along the third baseline. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Invert Larson, the right fielder, Ugh. takes that one for a ball. And the count is full. Three balls, two strikes. Pit, hitter's pitch here. And he fouls it off. Making Japani throw them pitches. She's up to 78 pitches now. Oh, oh come on, Bertha. Hmm. That's two hits in a row now that they were right close to Bertha and she just didn't make the play. Hmm. <laughs> so the water bullets are on the board, seven to one. Spaces are still loaded. There's still only one out. And in steps D Miners, the left fielder. Takes the first pitch for a called strike, strike one. Miners hitting 111 with one RBI. That one's fouled back. And very quickly, D Miners is in the hole, 0 and 2. That one's ripped foul along the third baseline, out of play. No balls, two strikes, one out. Oh, 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 low ball oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, one D. ball, two strikes. Oh, D Miners. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So so the the play came in, they threw it home, they got the first run, and then Fiona Clark whipped it in the right field. She, yeah, she went to go for the, the for the double play by going to first. Yeah. And uh, and they're gonna bench her and bring in Steve Bus Tour. Then they're gonna take out Bertha Banks and bring in Barney Bryant. A lot of a lot of moves by the Beatles here now. It's seven to three. Water bullets threatening to get back in this. They say yeah, now catching Steve Bus Tour at third base. Barney Bryant. Yeah. Well, she mi she missed two. Easy grounders that should have got us out of the out of the inning too. So the water bullets put three on the board as we head into the top of the sixth. The B will seven runs on nine hits with an error. The water bullets three runs on five hits with an error. Steve Montstewer's first to bat. Fran Japani 0 for one and handed Vic Stewart's 0 for three. Farmhand has thrown 11 pitches. Steve Montstewer is locked in and well. He's got power versus right-handed pitching. He's hitting 444 with three home runs and six RBIs. First pitch to Monstour's low ball one. There's a rocket to the second baseman, Christian Stone. He'll pick it up, make the throw to first for the first out. One down, and then steps Fran Japani, the pitcher. She's 0 for 1 today. Locked in, 0 for 1. One out, top to 6, 7, 3 B Wolves. Good hitter for a pitcher. She pops that one up in the left field. That's going to be an easy catch for D Miners. Two up, two down. Right there. And the next there is neutral and fit 0 for 3 today. Hitting 345, three home runs, five RBIs, two outs and nobody on. Dexteris takes the first pitch for a cold strike, strike one. That one's inside, ball one. One ball, one strike now to Dexteris. There's a rip that's going to get. Oh, Kasha Hammond lays out for it. Handley Dexteris. Oh, just, just gets thrown out at first pitch. So. Three up, three down. We're heading into the bottom of the sixth. Amelia Kent 0 for 2. Christian Stone 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And Iceman Majors 1 for 2 with a strikeout. Japani had 85 pitches with six strikeouts, giving up five hits. Amelia Kent is rattled and fit. She is 0 for 2 on the day. Horrible contact at this point. Likes her pitches outside. Got a 0 5 0 average. Japani hoping to get back in this thing, maybe close out the sixth inning. Then go take a rest. 87th pitch in the dirt. The monster just lets that one roll away. We're even now one apiece. Amelia Kent, first base one for the water bullets. Breaking pitch right in there. No swing strike. One and two. She's down on the count as Amelia Kent. Hard liner on the ground. A ham slam as who picks up. Makes one pump easy throw her first. Good defense though. So far. It started off as a really big defensive game, Pete, and then it slided into this offensive boxing match. Christian Stone over two on the day, hitting 250. Fans cheered him on. Water Bullets want their team to get back in this. They're four runs down. There's a few innings left. Breaking pitch makes it in for a strike. 0 on the count. Swing and a miss. Strike two low and inside. And Japani got him in the right spot. 92nd pitch misses up high. One and two. For Christian Stone, second base for the Water Bullets. 
Anticipated the two strike middle count down, but it misses two apiece. So we're gonna strike three. It's another K for Japani. We're showing she wants to end on a good note here. Get the win. She wants the win. <laughs> Iceman Majors one for two on the day. 130. One home run, three RBIs. Good contact hitter. Air power. 95th pitch by Japani right now. This is high and outside. Split finger. One on the count. The Iceman, the Major League third baseman. Breaking pitch in there for strike. Japani spits something out. We're even at one apiece. Two outs, bottom of six, seven, three Beagles. Pop up in the left field. Buster Biggs has to run up and he slides and he cannot get it. It's a fair ball. It's going into the corner. He's going to whip it to third base, but the runner's going to stop at second. Um, <clears throat> nice double there by the Iceman. Scoring position, Alkasha M and 0 for 2 to A minus ranked shortstop. I do like me some Kasha. She played well for the Overdogs when we were out there. Playing well here in Florida for the Bullets. Hard line or first baseline. Luckily, foul for the B Wolves. 99th pitch. Hard liner left field. The rookie running out to get it. Eduardo Keller makes the grab to close it out. Way to go, kid. All right, so we're heading into the top of the seventh. It's still se uh, B Wolves 7. Water ball, it's three. Sturdy Woodman, two for three with a triple. Ham Slam is three for three with a double. And Hammer Dog Ball, one for two with a home run. Farmhand at 17 pitches. We gotta get Farmhand to throw more. Sturdy Woodman locked in and fit two for three, a triple, a single, and two RBIs. Something else. Fans standing up here. Hoping the Water Bowls can close things out. First one's a ball, second one's a strike. We even at one apiece. 94 miles an hour by Farmhand. 20th pitch inside. Knocked down the line. First baseman goes to stop it. She does, but it's not in time. And uh, Single, double, triple. If Sturdy Woodman can hit a home run, he'll hit the cycle. Ham Slam yeah. is three for three. A double, two singles, and an RBI. Werner at first base does not have a lot of speed. Sturdy Woodman at first with no outs. Ham Slam is, fouls that one back. Strike one. Allen's high ball one. One ball, one strike now. Ham Slam is. Allen's outside ball two. Two and one. Allen's high ball three. Three balls and a strike to Ham Slamis. Allen sh shot into, I think I'm going to run. No, oh. he's, oh, no. Oh, I'm getting, he's getting, caught. getting caught. I'm getting caught. I'm getting <laughs> caught. <laughs> Double play. <laughs> oh, dummy. Oh, dummy. That was, a, that was the third base two. coach's fault. <laughs> <laughs> for two. Long ball. One for two, 261. Outside corner. The bases are clear now. 1 0. Hard line into center field. Caught by Hernandez Jackson, who runs up Dang the gas. Dang nabbit. <laughs> Dang nabbit. <laughs> B Wolves 7. Water Bullets 3. We're going into the bottom of the seventh. Preston Adonis, 1 for 2 with a strikeout. Felix Farmhand, 0 for 1. And Invert Larson, 1 for 3. Japani at 99 pitches with 7 strikeouts. Preston Adonimus neutral and pick got good connection versus right-handed pitching. He's one for two with a single. Uh, yeah. Ran Japani at 99 pitches. Holy cow. And she still could go. She we'll could give, still go. We're going to give her a little bit of a rest. There you go. All right. So Fran Japani is going to take a seat. Benson Rushmore, the relief pitcher, is going to come in. He's got no ERA, a .43 whip, two strikeouts. He's neutral and fit. He's got about av a little bit better than average velocity in junk, but poor accuracy. He's almost fully rested. He throws a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. So with the in the bottom of the seventh with the B-Wolves with a seven to three lead, Rushmore takes over duty. First pitch to Preston Adonimus is in there for a cold strike. Strike one. Outside. Helen's outside. Ball one. One ball, one strike. Now to Adonimus. Adonimus, the water bullet catcher. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Preston Adonimus now behind in the count. One and two. Nobody on at the bottom of the seventh. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And Steve Monstro pick it up. Make the throw to first just to verify everything. One out and in steps Felix Farmhand. The pitcher, he's 0 for 1 today. They're going to yank Farmhand here. They're going to bring in the De uh, Domingo March, the pinch hitting catcher. He's hitting 250 with a home run and three RBIs. He's neutral, not 100%. He's got better than average power, less than average contact, and uh, poor, uh, he struggles with speed. He uh, favors the outside pitch. So with one out and nobody on in the bottom of the seventh, Domingo March steps in and takes the first pitch for a ball, ball one. 
That's in it for called strike. One ball, one strike to Domingo March, the pinch hitting catcher. Now in tie ball two. Two and one. March is not offered at any of these pitches so far. Allen's fouled straight back, and that'll even the count. Two balls, two strikes. One out. Allen's a flooper. Yes! Henry <laughs> Dexteras had to make a diving grab on that Domingo March flare in the shallow right field for the second out. So two down, and in steps Invert Larson. He's on fire and fit. Even though he's one for three today, he takes the first pitch for a called strike. Strike one. That's in it for called second strike. Strike two. And now invert Larson in the hole. No balls, two strikes with two outs. He gets enough of that to push that foul. He'll get another pitch. Now it's outside. Ball one. One ball, two strikes now. Rushmore hoping to see Larson ch chase that one. So we're going to make strike three, and down goes Invert Larson. No more on fire, pal. Take it to the, <laughs> take it to the streets, buddy. <laughs> Domingo Marsh is going to get pulled, and they're going to bring in Dante Hamilton, the closing pitcher. Hamilton with a 4.5 ERA, a .5 whip, and one strikeout. He's neutral and fit. He struggles with velocity, but he's got really good junk. He's got better than average accuracy. He's fully rested. He's got a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, and a slider. So as we head into the top of the eighth, it's still B-Wolves 7, Water Bullets 3, Buster Biggs 1 for 2 with a triple. Eduardo Keller's first at bat, Barney Bryan first at bat, Dante Hamilton taking over duties on the bump with a 4.5 ERA. Buster Biggs neutral and fit, 1 for 2 with a triple, hitting 429 with an RBI. Got the window open, warm sea breeze here. Oh, first swing, fouled off. Balance outside, ball 1. One ball, one strike now to Buster Biggs. That one's low ball 2. Two and one. Allen's lifted a blooper to Amelia Ken at first base for the first out. So one out and in steps Eduardo Keller. Eduardo Keller is zero on the season. Uh, yet to get a hit. Oh, that breaking pitch makes it back in for a strike. Oh, one. Man, Hamilton really has some arc on it. Fouled off, strike two, fouled off, still 0 and 2. He's in a hole. Batting defensively. Hard liner between shortstop and third base, and Eduardo Keller is going to get his first big league single here yes, at, sir. at the at the uh, place. <laughs> in steps Barney Bryan. He's hitting 250. No home runs, no RBIs. He's neutral and fit. First pitch to Barney Bryan's in it for a called strike. Allen's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike with one out. Allen's low ball two. Barney Bryant, Edward, oh, oh. And that one's fouled off. Two balls, two strikes with one out. That one's ripped. Uh, to Iceman Majors at third base who sticks out his glove and makes the catch for the second out. To two outs and in steps Steve Monster, the catcher. Steve Monster talking to Preston there for a minute. A couple of catchers just chewing the fat. That one misses high and inside. One over the count. Barney Bryant going for second again. Pitches in there, he slides and makes it safe. Nice steal. Rookie. Or no, Eduardo Keller, that's right. Now misses outside. Two on the count to Steve Monstour. Checks on that one ball three. Way to pull it back. Steve three one hitters pitch. Making him throw pitches. And he bunts it down. He's gonna get the runner to third base. And he surprises everyone. They thought he was gonna swing power. I did it again. God dang it. <laughs> uh, they wouldn't they were least expected, you know? Button on two strikes with two outs? <laughs> Who's going to do that? Pitch. It's a hitter's pitch, so you know I'm trying to wind up, right? And I hit, I'm hitting that stupid A, that B button. Dang, nabbit. it. Every time. <laughs> D minors hoping to start the turnaround here for the water ball. Let's get back in this thing. Get this game back under control. That one misses low ball one. One of the counts. 7-3 B-Wolves. Swing and miss strike one. We're even a one apiece now. Bottom of the eighth. That's a rush for throwing a 17th pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two, one and two. He's, he's got uh, D minors right where he wants them. Breaking pitch fouled off. First baseline souvenir. Gonna sneeze something out there. Got the windows open, a nice breeze here. Getting his last for Pina Colada, Pete. Hard lighter to right field. Hammer on Ballo jumps up and grabs it. Hammer. <laughs> Way to rob him. 
on Balo. He's not only power, he's skill in right field. The fans like what they saw, even though he's on the other team. 20th pitch by Benson Rushmore to Hieronymus Jackson. Misses up near his elbow. Ball one, one to the count. Now misses outside. 2-0. Oh. I don't know if he's going to swing at the first one. He might need to get one in there for this. Oh, no, he does. Sturdy Woman's going to pick that up off the ground and toss it over to Benson Rushmore. Covers the bag for him. Two up, two down. And that brings in the rattled Amelia Kent. We'll see if she stays in. She does. Wow, they're going to keep her in. The Water Bulls only have a, an inning and a, a third left here. First one's in for a strike on one. That one's popped up, and uh, that's going to end the side for the Water Bulls. They just have one more chance. Benson Rushmore makes that grab near the near the mound. So we're going into the top of the ninth. B will seven runs on 11 hits with one error. The Water Bulls, three runs on six hits with an error. Benson Rushmore's first at bat. Henley Dexter is 0 for 4, and Sturdy Woodman 3 for 4 with a triple. Dante Hamilton at 18 pitches. Benson Stuff. Rushmore. Benson Rushmore locked in and fits. It's a good, pretty good hitting pitcher. Not bad. But this is his first at bat this season. Takes the first pitch high, ball one. That's in the same place, but it's called a strike. Come on, Ump, <laughs> what are you doing? One and one. Allen's lifted into right center field and the center fielder is calling everybody off and Ronis Jackson will make the catch for the first out one out and then steps Hanley Dexter Hanley Dex 0 for 4 on the day uh, an unusual cold snap can't imagine he goes 0 for 5 that one's high for ball we'll know the count Hanley's going to get on right here that one outside, or one way or another he might walk 2-0 there it's in there. It's a hard liner into left field. Not only he's going to make up for a peep by getting multiple bases. That's into the inside gap. the park home run. <clears throat> it's going around. He's going to make it in for a triple peep. A slide in. Way to go, Dex. All right, all right. So man at third base with one out. Sturdy Woodman steps in. He's three for a triple, two singles, and two RBIs. That'll uh -oh. be the end of Dante Hamilton. <laughs> Dante Hamilton, the closing pitcher, will be lifted in for K. Frequen, the closing pitcher. Frequent with a 16.2 ERA, a 2.4 whip, four strikeouts. She's neutral and fit. She's got very good velocity. She's got good jump, very good accuracy. She's not fully rested. Uh, she's known as a composed pitcher, but she's got a two-seam fastball and a screwball. She is a screwball. So with one out and one on, first pitch to Sturdy Woodman's in there for called strike. Strike one. That one's outside ball one. One ball, one strike with one out. That one's high ball two. Two balls and a strike. That's in there for called second strike. Two balls, two strikes, one out. That one's lifted. Oh. That's going to drop onto the carpet in right field for a clean single. And the freebooter, I mean, they, uh, the B Wolves <laughs> put another one on the board. Ham Slamma steps in. I said freebooter. <laughs> Uh, eight to three B Wolves. That's on the ground in the left field. It's another single for boy Slamis and Woodman having a just a bang up day. Yes, sir. Hammer long ball, a neutral and fit one for three with a home run, three RBIs. His, his batting average is up to 250 now. So with two on and one out, long ball takes the first pitch inside ball one. K Frequent going to throw her eighth pitch right there inside ball two. Two balls and no strikes. There's a shot that's going to get into. Oh man. Into left field, and Ham Slamis is going to slide into third safe. So runners at first and third. Another run scores, and the B Wolves are putting down the gas and not taking it off, Tommy. Oh my gosh. Wow. I feel feeling bad. Buster Biggs, 414. K Freakman, tense. Man, what, what a great pitcher, Freakman. Not having a great year. Hard foul ball onto the roof. First baseline. One apiece now to Buster Biggs. Pressure up. There's a ball oh, in the no. right field, but that's going to be caught short of the track. Waving that off is Ingrid Larson for the sec. Oh, the runner should have came home. I was going to say. He should have came home. Up. Oh. That was, that was the a runners missed. Runners at first and third with two out. Eduardo <laughs> Keller, the left fielder. He's one for one with a single, hitting 333. If we lose now, I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eduardo Keller has gone a yard. Is he? No, oh, at the wall. Just the biscuit short. Oh, that was going to be huge for the rookie. A three run <laughs> shot, but we're going into the bottom of the ninth. B Wolves, nine runs on 15 hits with an error, and the Water Bowl is three runs on six hits with an error. Christian Stone, 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. Iceman Majors, 2 for 3 
with two strikeouts. Christian Stones, neutral and fit. He's 0 for 3 today, hitting 240 on the season with three home runs, four RBIs. Here it is. Rushmore can close her out. First pitch inside, ball one. Uh oh. Uh, high into the air, into center field. Eduardo Keller is there. Makes the catch for the first out. One down and in steps Iceman Majors to third baseman. He's neutral and fit. Two for three with a double and a single. He's hitting 167 this season with one home run, three RBIs. There's a roller head. And he's going to pick it up. Flip it yes. to first for the second out. Sturdy Woodman dove for it a little early, but was able to recover and make the throw toss. Akasha Emmons steps in. She's 0 for 3. I think she's got three strikeouts. She's rattled right now and fit. Swing and a miss, strike one. Two outs, nobody on. Bottom of the ninth. Allen's high ball one. One ball, one strike. With two outs to Kasha M in the water bullet shortstop. There's a shot. Oh, and that's going to get into left field for a clean single. So Kasha M in singles with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. In comes Preston Adonimus, the catcher. He's neutral and fit. Got good connection versus right handed pitching. He's one for three today. First pitch to Adonimus is in there for called strike. Strike one. Benson Rushmore throws the first, and Kasha M in his back. 0-1. Oh Allen's in the dirt. Ball one. Monstour keeps it in front of him. One ball, one strike with two outs. That's in there for call. Second strike. And now Adonis finds himself behind in the count. One and two. Allen's fouled straight back. One ball, two strikes. Two outs. Runner at first base. There's a roller to ham slam. He's going to pick that up, make the throw to Sturdy Woodman, and end the game. And the B Wolves have won again. <laughs> Yay, B Wolves! <laughs> another another big win. Wow. I mean, I, they're yeah. they're just running on all cylinders. They're getting tons of offense and uh, adequate pitching. <clears throat> it looks a little something like this. Again, they score first, top of the first inning. Get ready, real good. One nothing. It's a bit of a duel until the fifth inning when it blows all open. Beebles get six runs in the fifth. Water bullets make it interesting. They get three. The Beebles tack on two more in the ninth. Beebles end up with nine runs on 15 hits with an error. The Water bullets three runs on seven hits with an error. That's I don't know how many games now the Beebles have held the other team to under double digit hits. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's really coming in. Um, I mean, you know, it's it's really kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> well, these batting averages are just through the roof. Hanley Dexter is five for one or one for five on the day with a run. He's got he's three fifty five. Sturdy Woodman four for five with three runs, three RBIs. Like you said, just short of that home run. He's hitting four eighty four. Ham Slamus four for five with a run and an RBI five sixty two. <laughs> uh, Hammerlong Ballo two for four with a run and four RBIs. He's only hitting two eighty. <laughs> But uh, really, really, he had uh, those those last three batters got all the runs or RBIs. Uh, Buster Biggs one for four with a with a run. Um, Magic Moore over three. The only disappointment with with the only strikeout for the B Wolves. Uh, Eduardo Keller comes and goes one for two. That's pretty good. He's two fifty on the season. Bertha Banks one for three with a run. Barney Bryan comes into sub doesn't uh, he goes over one. Fiona Clark goes one for two with a run. Steve Monster over two. His, his batting average drops all the way down to 400. <laughs> Brad Chapani 0 for 2. Her batting average of 400. Uh, Benson Rushmore then comes in and goes 0 for 1. And over there for the water bowl, it's Invert Larson goes 1 for 4. He scored a run, had an RBI, struck out once, hit in 321. D Miners, uh, he was 1 for 4, picked up two RBIs. Uh, Hieronymus Jackson, 1 for 4. Uh, Amelia Kent, 0 for 4. Christian Stone, 0 for 4 with two strikeouts. <laughs> Iceman Majors goes 2 for 4, scored a run, struck out once. Kasha Emin, 1 for 4 with two Ks. Uh, Preston Adonimus, 1 for 4 with two Ks. Uh, Holder Close, he was 0 for 1 today with a strikeout. Uh, Felix Farmhand came in, he went uh, 0 for 1, but he did score a run. Uh, D March, uh, went 0 for 1 and then uh, Hamilton and Frequent did not have an, an official at bat. Yeah. Um, 
Pitching Frangipani finally gets that win. She goes six innings, gives up six hits. Just one earned run, seven strikeouts. A banner day for the uh, third string starter for the B-Wolves. Her ERA is at a 1.29. She's now 1-0-1-0 on the season. Benson Rushmore comes in and gets his first save. He throws three innings, gives up just one hit. Gets two strikeouts of his own. He's 1-0-1-1 on the season. Great, great pitching then, by the Beatles. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, and then over for the Water Bullets, Holder Close goes four and two-thirds innings, gives up seven hits, five earned runs, one strikeout. He leaves with an ERA of 5.4, and his record falls to one win, one loss. Felix Farmhand pitched two and a third innings. He uh, gave up three hits, two earned runs, one home run to uh, Hammer Long Ballo. His ERA jumps up to a 4.76. Um, Hamilton, he picked, uh, pitched uh, an inning and a third, gave up two hits. Uh, Dante Hamilton uh, pitched an inning and a third, gave up two hits, one earned run. His ERA <laughs> jumps up to a 5.4. His record will remain no wins, no losses, two saves. K Frequent pitched two thirds of an inning. Gave up three hits, one earned run. Her ERA jumps up to a 15.43. Her record will remain no wins, one loss, and one save. Three stars of the game, Tommy Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman. Four for five <laughs> with a triple, three RBIs, and three runs. Yeah, Sturdy used to play in this building every game. We knew him down here when he was at the uh, at the Booters. Uh, second star, B-plus ranked right fielder, number 90, Hammer Longballo. Uh, he goes two for four on the day with a home run. Four RBIs had a run. Way to go, Hammer. And then the third star of the game, the uh, starting pitcher for the B-Wolves, Fran Giappone, goes six innings, gives up tits, uh, an earned run, and seven strikeouts. Today, the breakdown goes like this. Tommy G had seven hits, one home run, eight RBIs. Way to go, Tommy. One great catch, one stolen base, six strikeouts for a contribution of 58%. P.J. had eight hits, one RBI, one great catch, and three strikeouts for a contribution of 42%. All right. Well, that is, uh, wow, another big win on the road. The first of three matches, so it's not, the uh, water bolts could still come on top if we're not careful, but uh, that's 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 how we wanted to do that game. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. We both wanted to take that one, and we did it in, uh, definitively, you know. Uh, yeah, that's what you want to do. The problem, of course, is uh, how long can we go with these uh, B wolves winning constantly before we start talking about uh, <laughs> bumping up the difficulty? Yeah, 54. trying to bump up the ego because yeah. we're now on a uh, four game winning streak. Which, I mean, again, um, and the last two with the overdogs and the water bullets, it just you know, it we really just ran yeah. away with it yeah well, yeah and then the last four games we've had you know eight runs ten runs nine runs um yeah yeah so yeah i mean we yeah, we could i'd consider that um looking at some some of the news uh real quick yeah. after this game a player development available juicing program a new training opportunity available for ham slam is 35 year old uh shortstop would uh gain eight to his power or 16 lose five on his connectivity 12% chance of getting bad jumps. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, up from that, the grappler signed Chevelle Stewart, replacing Stracy Wicker. So no more Chevelle. Chevelle Stewart is no longer on the free agent wire. He'll be taking his uh, business over to the grapplers. They'll get a bump up in power. They'll get a bump up in, in uh, connectivity. Uh, they lose some on speed, but they gain a little bit on uh, fielding, and they gain a huge uh, in, in, an, in an arm behind the plate so yeah uh a move that that i'm sure will make the grapplers an even tougher uh team down the line here so yeah i think for them i think cheville is catch catching for the um california gold coats so he's he just moves down the bay a little bit there it'll yeah. be good for him <laughs> yes yeah, sir yeah so i mean our schedule um we have a couple more three more road games left that's our long our long stretch here uh, we're going to be back here in Florida. We, we, we're going to head out to San Jose for this next one. Faces Saw Teeth. The other San Jose. It's gonna, we're going to have Deshaun Levon facing Larry LaJoy. Larry LaJoy, we knew him from uh, Santa Monica. He's going to be out there now. Then we go back down to Houston where Hurley Bender is going to start things off against Chasey Kim. The Jacks. Kim we also knew from from the Overdogs. So a couple of overdog pitchers. And then we come back here to Florida. 
uh, to face the Freebooters. Eva Ortiz is going to face uh, Angel Verde uh, before we finally get back to back at home. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then I think after the 11th game, don't we do a live from the Hive where we talk about maybe bumping the ego and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. What game are we at? So, How many games have we played? We have currently played seven. So this was our seventh game tonight, so we have four more games before we reach that point. Do we just ride it out, and then if we make a change, we make it at, at the eleventh game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You want to talk about league leaders a little bit before we? Sure. <clears throat> Current season leaders, top ten after seven games. Ranjapani, congratulations, made the top three. Number one. <laughs> What's that? Isn't she currency? Oh, no, top three. Okay, I'm no, sorry. Top, yeah, I, no, top. Mine had moved over to single season records. Oh, oh yeah, I know. Top 10. She's yeah. third third best DRA. They're all pitchers for those top three. She's got 18 strikeouts more than any of the other pitchers up there. Pitt Jeterson, cool. the best uh, swinging player. Alicia Woodrow down there at eight, though, has 19 Ks. Yeah, oh, oh that's right. Okay, yeah, you're right. Mm. Batting? Sturdy, Sturdy Woodman with the second best batting average in the league at 484. Wow. Behind slash trips. Yeah, trips is just tearing the cover off the ball. Watch, she's only had three at bats, though. Yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to face them in the next game, so it'll be interesting to see Trippy. Uh, home yep. home runs. I don't see any of them up there. We got two guys on there Hanley Dexter, Steve Mustur, each three. Yep. RBI. Runs batted in. Sturdy Woodman gets, uh, he's on there tied for first with 10. Yeah. Slash Trips also has 10 as well, too. So, yeah, Slash, slash is going to be someone I want to be careful of. Yes, sir. On Are base you... percentage. Yeah, Steve, Sturdy Woodman, Steve Munster. Slugging percentage, Steve Munster. Look at all these guys. Look at these guys over here. <laughs> um, I want to know one thing. What's that? Where's freaking Ham Slamis? Yeah. Yeah, he's way up there. We'll see if he's leading it. Hits, Sturdy Woodman lead the league in hits. All well, tied for with Pitt Jeterson. Um, and uh, the burners. And then it looks like the Slash Trips got right behind him with one left. Buster Biggs up there and the next stairs. You got extra base hits? Extra base hits. Um, Sturdy Woodman on there with five. Steve Monstour with five as well. So, yeah, it looks like they're tied for fourth place with there. Nacho Crisp and Todd Desperate. <laughs> you got another saw teeth lead there in the strikeouts. Kobe Kingman. <laughs> 10. Yeah. It's funny. I mean, you know, Kobe started with, with the Beebles. We traded him out. But he's been he's been saw teeth ever since. Or going yeah. on, you know, his fourth season there now. They kept him and he's still leading the lead yeah. in strikeouts. <laughs> Run scored. Hanley Dexteris who was scored seven runs. Yeah, along with slash trips and DP Turner, so yeah, something we got to keep an eye on. And then pot stealing, Hanley Dex, Freddie Knox, <laughs> twice. So that's not bad. It's not bad. It's seven games in. Yeah, we only got caught twice. Not bad. And for pitching, look at all those zero ERAs. Yeah, that's weird. Saves Maximo Primo's got got a couple of saw teeth. Strikeouts. Here you go. Alicia Woodrow leading the league with 19. Yep. And then Fran Giapani with 18. And much behind her, Hurley Bender at 17. So, yeah. Always, always, we always got our pitchers are always in there. Yep. Strikeouts, walk, strikeout, the walk ratio. Fran Giapani the best. There you go. All right. There it is, folks. <laughs> well, that's probably a good, a good spot to, uh, Move to the credits. Wait, just, so, just so everybody knows, let's take a look here. Ham Slamis, okay, he's had uh, played in five games. Maybe that's the deal. Maybe it's because he hasn't played oh. enough games. But he's played in five games. He's made five game appearance, 16 at bats, nine hits. Wow. He's hit 562. Huh. With one RBI, he scored two <laughs> runs, 11 total bases, two doubles, only struck out once. Oh. I'll never forget the first time you you heard his name. Hey, I'm slamming up. He was yeah. crashing. <laughs> yeah. <And> just, <clears throat> just, the first time I heard it, it just struck, it hit me funny. And I was like, 
<laughs> so all right. These names are awesome. Well, we got to get on a plane, head out to the West Coast. We'll yes, sir. We'll see you in San Jose. Uh, until then, this is Tommy G. And this is PJ. And we're saying, get out of here.